Well, I think now is the point then to talk about what happened today, right? So today it was announced, you know, that there was a bid for Gigi. From Cruz Azul. Yeah. And um, they apparently bid what, six? Six Six million? I heard that, yeah. so, you know, this happens from time to time. They they couldn't get the striker they wanted in the off season, right? And so they this is their second choice and they're coming, you know, like we're talking about with us we, what we should do to Cincinnati and grab Noonan. Yeah. They're playing big boy here and saying, "I know you have the <laughs> the, the best, the best strikers, strikers in the MLS. We're just going to take him from you." Mm. Right? So they made a bid and Lenny United turned down the first bid. Yeah. Um, but the thing that happened and the reason why it became public was not only the bid or whatever, but there is some reports, not from Gigi directly, but that Gigi's open to it. Mm-hmm. Right? You think after watching that game where he's like kind of cramping up, kind of got a little hammy pull, but that dude did not want to be playing in that Nashville game. Well, he, he was really struggling. And one thing that probably nobody's been talking about, but he was really struggling and and with about eight minutes to go or something, 10 minutes to go, he asked to come off the field. We had already used our last sub. Oh yeah. He couldn't come off the field. Yeah. He didn't want to come off. Which really pisses you off as player. Like what are, what are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. All of the above though. Cause I mean, Gigi can be a little soft. Yeah, to be honest. I agree. Can. I yes. agree. I agree. But, completely. but I think you add, you add that mentality because he can be a, absolute lot i mean you've seen it the guy's a lion when things are going well mm-hmm. and you kind of get a kitty cat whimpering to try to get off the field when things are stacked against us and that to me again it just was like i'm not upset with Gigi in that case i just again it brings me back to pineda yeah so what i was going to say we i think that for the first time you got to add maybe Gigi to that list of players that pineda has really bothered yeah you know yeah i you know i don't know whether he really said that he was no. you know wants to move or whatever but he's clearly also not happy Al- two weeks ago oh, he said he would love to stay forever exactly. and yeah. now but oh, but oh. he's seen what happened to Let's, the team well here's he's pissed off probably almada from day one yeah. the problem with almada is he's such a high profile young player with a really sh- he's got a good team around him obviously mm-hmm. that dude just wants to go to europe at this point yeah mm-hmm. and he he's out. he's trying not to head a end up in any headline yep that's his entire goal right now go to the olympics do great get the hell away from this clown he did say he wanted to play in copa america and the olympics yeah. why probably because he wanted to play in those but also to keep him in a better team where he can show his stuff yeah and showcase for europe and to keep him out of this yeah. this mark my word mark my words there's, right. go- there's gonna go. there's gonna be some almada quotes once he gets away from this club about pineda mm-hmm. or uh, it, it, he'll allude to it in some way where you think 